Hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sandra and this is your first time here and welcome to my channel. In this channel, you'll be learning and I'll be speaking about everything high-end or luxury candle making business tips. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we will going to be watching me make candles. And this is a special candle because I'm testing out new wicks um, and also new vessels. This is going to be my new spring collection and this collection is very special to me because I want to make this collection very eco-friendly and very, very um, natural. So I'm going to be using wood wicks. I'm going to be using eco-friendly uh, packaging. I'm also going to be using eco-friendly labels. I'm also going to be using um, coconut apricot wax. And um, this collection is going to be also in conjunction with my love for the sciences and everything spiritual, everything relaxing, and everything calming because um, I wanted the springtime for me or for my followers and for my candle makers, um, my candle lovers, to enjoy uh, spring without any stress. So um, I'm going to get into more about this collection um, in the few coming weeks and months up until uh, the release of this collection. So on another topic, um, if you have been um, on my community tab of my YouTube channel, I have announced that I will be having a master class this Friday. So I've been preparing for this master class and it is a doozy people. It is a doozy. So I am very excited and I'm also very nervous about the entire process and I was going to make this master class a live master class but because of the nature of the topic and it's a lot that I want to cover um, the master class is going to be a pre-recorded master class, but at the end is going to be a live Q&A session if you guys have uh, questions as the master class um, goes through. So um, I've been posting a lot lately. It's been almost a month now that I've been posting consistently. I have been posting consistently, y'all. I am so proud of myself and I have seen my social media grow, 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 grow. And I've also seen my YouTube channel grow and I thank you very much for all the love, all the support. And I could tell you right now that all the hard work that I have been doing from the time that I have implemented my social media uh, content strategy has worked. So. With that being said, join me this Friday for my masterclass and I guarantee you that you will be learning something brand new. I'm also going to be having a giveaway that same day, so stick all the way to the end so you'll be participating in the giveaway. And if you have not signed up for my masterclass, which is free, you could do so. I'll leave the link in my description box. I will also uh, have the link if you are in my email list you also have received the emails as well and the master class is going to be at 6 p.m this week friday and is going to be 6 p.m eastern standard time so check your um time zones because if you're in the east Co uh, west coast then your time zone is three hours behind if you're central it is two hours behind um and all depending where you're actually at it's going to depend on your actual time zone, but my time zone is going to be 6 p.m. And that time zone works for my um, viewers. It works for me as well, and it works for my uploads. So it's going to be at 6 p.m. Friday, my master class. So let's go over to my table, and I will be explaining everything that I'll be using during my testing. Also, I'm going to be using my new and improved um, candle taking notes because I do take notes every time I do test out 
every time my candle vessels candle um, waxes uh, fragrances any additives any colors that I use I always 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 take notes on what I use the measurements of each one because every time you add a certain number of wax or a certain ounces of wax to your pouring pitcher it changes the um, composition of the colors if you're adding colors it also changes the composition of any additives if you adding any additives to your um, wax and it also changes how much or how little you're going to add fragrance oil to your container so this is why I always write everything down pertaining to my candle so that I can always recreate the exact same thing every single time and have the perfect wax uh, well not so perfect but in my conditions that I can control so let's go over to my workshop which actually is my garage and we're going to be working from there so let's get going okay so now we're at my workshop as I said before and in front of me you're gonna see my five different vessels that I'm going to be testing and yes and these are completely different vessels from the vessels that I normally use because this is a new collection and I have five different colors so I have the yellow the white the blue the turquoise and the black so um, these are not clean so I'm gonna clean those out as well and if you want to look at the actual jar this is what the jar looks like in honor of my new uh, book and I want you all to see how I use and how you can also use um, the templates that I have in the book this is one of the templates that I have and this one is the candle testing details temp template so I'll be using this to test out my waxes so the first thing that I'm going to be writing down here will be um, actually the date so I'm gonna date this for today which is the 15th of February and also I'm gonna put the year on there just in case if I want to go back to this and um, I don't remember the year so the wax type and name so the wax type that I'm using is cocoa apricot okay yes cocoa apricot the supplier and this one is where wood wooden wick yes the wooden wick co sorry that my handwriting is kind of messy right now and I'm going to be not, I'm not going to use fragrance so I'm not going to use fragrance type because because I'm testing the wax and the wick combination I am not going to be using any fragrance for this batch so I'm just using this one to test out which wick works for this vessel um, not using the fragrance load either I'm not going to put what temperature I put the fragrance at because I'm not doing that. Um, the jar type, this is a 12 ounce jar. Oh wait, 12 ounce jar. And for the type, it will be um, straight sided. So for the wick type, I'm going to be using um, wood wicks. And what I do when I'm testing out wood wicks, and because these wicks are, uh, I could actually write on them. So what I do is write the actual wick size and width and what kind of wick I'm using. So this is the booster wick, the crackling wick. So they're all crackling wicks but these will be the booster wicks so the booster wicks um have this extra uh wood in the center and obviously the extra wood adds the actual dimension to add more of a boost so if for instance if um i have a very small vessel and the wick that i have for that very small vessel the regular the smallest wick is too small for that vessel and the next wick over to it is just a little bit too um, big for it then the booster wick 
which is the smallest with the extra wood in the center will be the one that will work for that wick but obviously you're gonna do your testing to make sure that that is the one that actually works. So this will be the 0.7502 booster. This is the crackening wick. There's no booster on this one. And this one is the 0.75.03. So the 0.03 will be um, the width of the actual um, uh, uh, wood wick. Um, and then the 0 0.02 will be the width again to this one and this one is the cracking boost and this one is the 0 0.03 booster wick and then this one is the 0 0.03 booster wick but this size is 0 0.625 and then this one is 0 0.625 0 0.02 booster wick so I'm using two different sizes and two different kinds of wicks the one that I was suggested by the Wooden Wick Co. is the 0 0.7502 um, wick. So the 0 0.7502 wick is the one that was um, suggested by Wooden Wick Co. But I also like to do my own testing because as you saw my previous uh video or maybe it wasn't a video I think it was just a picture of the wig I was testing it with another jar which was my uh, love language collection and in that jar I was using the recommended wig size and that size was just too big for that wig uh, container for that jar so this is why I always say to do your own testing because sometimes they can get it wrong. So, um, this one is the recommended one, but I'm not going to only use this in all my jars and just blindly not test it. Um, I'm only testing two of the booster wicks for this size container because I know that the 0.625 is a little bit too small for this container that's why I am not using the regular one this is why I'm using the booster one because I already because I already know that the booster one can or possibly can work with this container so this is why I'm not using the 0.625 uh, regular and using the 6.625 booster so my candle wax has not melted yet so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just add the clips to these and clean these jars off and also going to um um oh yes and i'm also going to be adding micro powder so the reason why i'm going to be adding the micro powder is again because this collection is my spring collection and this one is going to be in um, a very special um, collection for me because it relates to my background which is in biology and I wanted this to be very earthy and very natural so I wanted to add the mica powder. Kind of contradictive that I'm saying natural but I'm adding mica powder. So I added here the additives at the bottom so the updated version of the template will have the additives on the actual list but because i forgot to add that i had added it here on my paper so the additives i'll be doing mica powder and i'm only going to be using double wick wait single wick i'm sorry single i'm using just one wick so this is not it this is not it so I'm using just single wicks. So I just realized that I have six wicks and I only have five containers. So I had to go get another container. And um, I don't know how I didn't, I didn't catch that. So when I'm getting ready to cut, because obviously I have to cut this, I can't just burn this all off. I will write the names of each of the wicks on the actual container and I'll have a sticker label that I add to each one so that I know exactly which one is which because obviously I can't leave this this tall 
So I'm gonna use a sticker, wig stickers to stick each one on the center. And I'm also going to be using my wick centering tool, although I could just eyeball it. Um, I want to be a little bit more precise. So I am going to be getting my label, no, my centering tool. Okay, so these are my centering tools, and I got this from designhousechic.com, and this is what they call the Wicket. So this is a very good tool to have if you don't really want to create your own centering tools, although this is kind of, I don't want to say it's pricey, it's just like a splurge. If you do have extra money that you want to invest in something like this, then you could do that. And all you have to do is just put it in the container. They have different sizes for the different jars that you have. And just put it in there and that's it. So I'm going to use my digital thermometer or my thermal thermometer. And I'm going to uh, see what's the temperature in my wax. Wax is melted. So it, it is at optimal temperature. And I'm going to pour it into my container, but I'm going to let it sit for a little bit because it is pretty hot. It is at 200 degrees right now. And um, I want to pour a little bit cooler than 200. And in the meantime, I'm going to use my heat gun to heat up my containers. Um, and kind of, you really don't have to do this with these containers because these containers are colored. And with the colored containers, you don't really need the, um, the wax to adhere to the sides of the vessels, but these vessels are pretty cold. And yeah, I want them to be a little bit warm when the wax actually hits the containers. Okay, so this is still pretty hot. I want it to go at least down to 190, 95 so that I could pour it into the container into the vessels because 200 is kind of too hot for me and I don't like it that hot. But what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a little bit of mica powder into the wax. And so what I measured out here was 41 ounces of wax. So I'm going to be putting in my paper oops i almost got burned so i'm going to be putting here in my paper if you guys can see that i'm going to be putting here that i added my micro powder at 205 degrees fahrenheit and i'm going to also put how much wax i have in here and that's going to be 41 ounces of wax in here and how many scoops of mica powder that I added to the actual container or the pouring pitcher. You could use any um, spoon or any other container that you have if you have a little spoon. What I am not going to use, I'm not going to use this one because I do have a smaller um, spoon that I use for my mica powders so i'm going to be using that instead of this one because i want to measure out how much and with the other one that i have it's actually um, already measured for me it's like a micron of um of measurement so i rather use that so i know exactly how much i used okay so here it is i got this from wholesale supplies plus and i had two and this one is the broken one i don't know where the other one is at but um yeah this was very inexpensive it was probably like maybe less than a dollar i don't know it was yeah it might have been less than a dollar for one and i purchased two and i don't know where the other one is but we're going to be using this as our spoon to put into our wax pouring pitcher i'm not even going to use too much because um i don't want it to clog my wick so, this is, I don't know if you guys could see that, but this is how much I am going to be putting into the wax.
and I'm going to mix and then I'm going to see if I want more or less of the mica powder. Okay, so that really didn't do much. So I'm going to add a little bit more um, to the container. So I'm going to add one more scoop. Okay, so I think two scoops is enough. I uh, can see the shimmer and the wax. I'm not going to put too much because I don't want my uh, mica powder additive to clog my wicks when they're burning. So we're going to leave it as is with two scoops, and that's what I'm going to write down on my paper. And I got this mica powder from the Wooden Wick Co. Okay, so I came out to be a little bit too low, but it's okay. I'm going to put down that um, I poured at 183 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not that bad. 183 is not bad. So 185, I'm sorry, 185 Fahrenheit, which is not bad. So I'm going to be pouring out each one until they're all filled to where I want it to be filled. Next reason why I like to measure out how much wax I pour into my pouring pitcher, not only because I can measure out how much fragrance oil to add to the pouring pitcher based on how much ounces of wax or grams, if you're using grams, is because I want to know how much wax um, I could add to my pouring pitcher in order to fill how many jars of, of wax, with wax. So with 41 ounces of wax, I filled three jars. So which means in order to fill up these other three jars, I will add 41 ounces of wax into this one and also add two full scoops of my micro powder um, and then let it sit there for a little bit until it cools down and then um, add my containers, add my wax to my containers. Silly me, I completely forgot that the following day was my upload day and I do not want to test burn these candles one day into it being cured because I wanted to have more days for it to be cured. So I am so sorry guys, I'm going to have to cut this video up to this point. And anyways, the video was kind of long while I was editing. So... I'm going to leave it here. You're going to see me just adding the mica powder and then mixing it and then adding it to the vessels. Um, and then in next week's video, I will be cutting down the wicks. I'm going to make sure that I already have the little labels for each wick so you guys can see that. And then I'm going to be taking notes so you guys can see as well. So again, I apologize for the video being super super long and cut short at the same time so guys hasta la proxima bye mi gente bella